What's happening? Hello. How Mr. are you, Dan? You're okay? You're all right. You okay? I'm all right. very good, thank you. I grabbed Danny Mills because I wanted to have this debate and I walked in the studio and I said, Raheem Sterling or David Beckham? And he looked at me and went, oh, it's a tough one because you've played with Bex. <laughs> It is a difficult one, but I'm going to go with Raheem Sterling. <sighs> Only on the massive. basis, I, I don't know where Bex fits into the current way of playing. Raheem Sterling's got, he's got loads of pace. He runs in behind, he plays high on the right-hand side. That wouldn't be Bex's position. You'd, you'd have to... But you'd argue you'd have to play maybe him as a right wing back, right? If if he was going to play in his current team, but if you if yeah, you're that's going, a complete waste. The it's, aim, it's a complete can't, can't waste. Can't yeah, play so, so you're not playing in that. So it, only Raheem Sterling because of the current game. Because you're not throwing crosses into the box all the time. You know, Bex's delivery was exceptional. I mean, Ambrose was half decent, but you know, <laughs> no, no. Bex was the, Bex was proper. You know, half a yard non league compared to Bex, but, but half half a yard, whip it in. Players get on the end of it, crosses. The game's not played like that anymore. Mm. You know, Bex would have to play sort of the quarterback role in that midfield but I don't think there's a there's not a place for him there's not a that place position. for him would, in his, would in you not change team? the system for Beckham go 4-4-2 right now with the players <laughs> you, can't, you <laughs> with, can't go 4-4-2 no, but with just the players Cal, you've Cal, got Cal, 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 down the middle Bex whip the ball in the box um, <laughs> honestly Kane Calvert Lewin up top with the players you have now in the England squad you can afford to change the but, formation but Dan you played with him possibly you played with him could he adapt his game oh yeah with that yeah but but you'd have to play him as one of the three in midfield. You you, you couldn't you wouldn't put Lay Bex as a wide player because he doesn't have the pace to get him behind. But we don't play three in midfield. We we play like a three four three or a four three three, don't we? We don't play three five two. No, we play three four three. That's yeah. still you know you still so, you you're playing. You, he's not going to play as a sitter. No. So if you play two sitters and, and one in front, he's not going to play as the ten. If you played one sitter. And two in front of that with say mount on one mount on the left, for instance, Bex on the right of that, you might get away with it. But then you look in that position, you go, well, Lampard was better in that position, Gerard was better in that position. Mm. Bex was a wide right player. Mm. That's the only position really. That's where he was at his best. Crossing the ball, deliveries, those types of things. And Sterling. That position that doesn't position. really exist anymore. You know, not the way that Bex played it. You know, it's completely deep. He was very, very fit and he got up and down. But I just think in, in the current climate, the way the game is played, that, that Sterling would be the better option. Get out, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> played with David Beckham. Well, well what does he know? That, I'm, I'm, exactly. I'm too old to play with Raheem Sterling. That, I'm like, that, that's why I Man wanted City Dan supporter. to stay. I wanted no, his yeah, opinion. I didn't ask him to say Raheem Sterling. I asked him straight up as he was walking out the office, who would you have? Why? And he said, because Raheem you put it on Sterling. Twitter and everyone's saying Beckham. Well, but hang on, hang on. All right, flip that round. If this was 2000, and 2000 2002, my era, and I had the choice between the two, I'd play Bex. But I, I, I look yeah, but at, why I look though? At, why though? Because his delivery was better. We had two up top. Right, but yeah, but imagine having a, a sort of forward-thinking manager who played three-four-three ten years ago. We would have won a World Cup. You could have had, you could have a World Cup in your hand. Oh, you could have a medal. Don't, I could be. I could if be. If you had a forward-thinking manager who be, played three-five-two, I, I could be Sudani. Three... <laughs> 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 oh, Dan, right. I don't, uh, is, it, is it midnight trying to madness already? I must be on that. <laughs> Dan, thanks for saying, man. Appreciate it. Cheers, um, mate. Enjoy the show. Get, get back to Harrogate, right? I will do. It's a long old trek. Get your calls in. Danny Mills there. Raheem Sterling. He played with David Beckham. Danny's running, he said, for him as well. 03 717 We want to hear from you. Uh... Is it Danny? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Danny Mills. Brilliant. Can you imagine? Brilliant. Couldn't live it down. Right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I, uh, we were thinking, what, what do we talk about? And then we looked at Raheem and you said, obviously, Cundy always bottles this. So, yeah, we thought we'll go well, for it. I'm going to throw Cundy under the bus as well, by the way, because he was the one who kind of almost come up with this ages ago. And he he always says Sterling. Yeah. He always said Sterling. I think, uh, I, honestly... Sterling scores so many goals for England, right? I just want to get this up and give some uh, some background behind it, the reason why I want to have it. David Beckham in England stats. He's played 115 games, which is incredible. Yeah. We're not taking anything away from David Beckham here because he's an England great. 115 games, 17 goals. Raheem Sterling scored seven. Uh, has, has played 72 games, has got 18 goals. So he's yeah. got one more than Bex and he's played 40 less games. Yeah, and Raheem Sterling has 24 assists 
And David Beckham has 42 assists. So he has a lot more assists. I just look at David Beckham. He's on every free kick. I, I he see, should have. I see, again, that's why I, I'd have him over Sterling. His delivery, set-piece delivery, his, his threat from free kicks. I think I look at some of the goals Raheem Sterling scored, or well, most of them, if not all of them, David Beckham could have scored them. But then I look at the goals that David, David Beckham, Beckham scored. Did, could he? And Does David Beckham I don't get think Raheem Sterling for, for tapping? No, but he, he would, he would have if that was his game. If he was in this system now, like we we're speaking with with Danny, and he played as one of those uh, those wide players, he would have to do that job. And I think every goal that Sterling had scored, apart from pace, that's all I have. Sterling over Beckham would be his pace. He's very quick. And look, let's say you're picking Sterling over Beckham. I'm, I'm vice versa. We're not belittling the other one. They are both incredible football players, but. I look at some of the goals David Beckham scored, the mm. the goal against Greece, the free kick that got us in 2002 World Cup. Yeah, it got us to the World Cup. Sterling wouldn't have been able to score that goal. There's a goal, I think, he had a warm-up against Mexico, Mate, same Sterling kind of free kick. He scores great goals as well, though. He does score great goals. Not, like not, not so much not, for England, not like though. He only scores not for England. Things. If you think of the goals he scored for England, they are going in at the back post, tapping them in. Yeah, but he scored massively but that's important the system. goals as well. If, he did, but... Beckham just get. Uh, I feel Beckham was underrated as as a player. I think David Beckham. We never in, got past quarter final. David Beckham. He gets squad. into England team now for me. Beckham. Over who? Any one of them. Yeah. I'd have him over any one of them. Yeah. So you play him over Harry Kane, would you? No, obviously in his position. <laughs> Imagine Beckham playing with Harry Kane, putting some of the delivery that he can put in. Well, you'd have him in front of Pickford. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you played him in a three-four-three, you'd have you'd say Trent was playing right back. Yeah, you'd have him in front of Trent. I, I would, yeah. I'd have him in front of Trent. But Trent's delivery and it's not as good assists. as Beckham's. What? Trent's delivery is not a good, not as good as David Beckham. Come on, Jay. You know, you know, I'm right there. It's not. David Beckham was elite. He his delivery was elite. That's what he was known for. Trent's elite. Trent's got great delivery, and he's the best. Probably delivers the best ball be in the England team. I think you'd be nostalgic. Potentially, potentially, yeah. But I think David Beckham, in his prime, gets into any team in the Premier League now. In his prime, do you think? Yeah, I think he's overlooked. Prime David Beckham was an unbelievable player. Raheem Sterling's great. He got us. To, look, it was his goals really that got got us to the World Cup. Uh, set, not the World Cup, the Euro final. Yeah. But David Beckham was captain. He was a leader. He was on another just, level. Just talking on on tournaments, right? In, in terms of David Beckham, right? Yeah. He, he. This is how far he went in tournaments for for England. Nineteen ninety eight World Cup round of sixteen. Yeah. Euro two thousand out in the group. Two thousand and two World Cup quarter final. Euro 2004 quarter final. Yep. 2006 World Cup quarter final. Yep. He played in a golden generation of footballers. For England. Never got past it, the quarter final. He did, but not only that, he played against golden generations for other countries. Prime France, Germany, Brazil. These were fantastic football teams and, and national teams. And although he was at the golden generation probably now is probably the closest we thing we've got to the team where he played in the teams that you were playing against when David Becker was playing I think are far superior to the teams that England play against now Raheem Sterling 2014 World Cup they went out in the group 2016 round of 16 2008 in World Cup semi-final World Cup Euro 2020 final I mean it's it's great it's, it's, it's great achievement for him but like I said like the teams that are out there now Spain France uh, Germany it's not they're not as good as they were back then they, they will come again we know that but the teams that David Beckham he was in the golden generation of not only the England team but every nation that, that was their best generations as well and everyone's trying to regroup and come again England are, are doing it quicker than others and they have a big chance in the World Cup for me as well again and Raheem Sterling will play an important part of that. But don't you think Raheem Sterling's underrated, though? No, absolutely. With a lot of English. Absolutely. And, and I've said this many times. Before the the Euros, not many people had Raheem in the starting lineup. It was Gareth Southgate that just stuck with him because he never lets England down. He scored loads of goals. I think he got eight in nine in 2017, 2018. Yeah. He does extremely well. Plays well for Man City. Was the youngest to reach 100 Premier League goals or third youngest, something like that. He's very, very underrated, but... So was Beckham. And Beckham was just elite. 
Yeah. And just so you know, we're not taking anything away here from David Beckham as, oh, yeah. as a football yeah. player. Incredible player. But I just feel like now's the time to have a chat about Raheem Sterling because what he's done for England in recent years. International Week, I want to hear from you. Get your call in 03 717 22 Raheem Sterling or David Beckham. 